Hello you guys, Money Heist fans. If you love watching Money Heist just like me, then this video would be one that you would enjoy. Okay? Tokyo is dead. Tokyo from Money Heist. Right? Her character is gone. Her character is over. The final season of Money Heist ended with her death. Okay. Do you actually think that she had a deserving death on that show? She was the very first robber that the professor hired, right? She was the first member of the Money Heist family. <laughs> and you know what? The episode actually started with a rundown about Tokyo's story. Tokyo usually used to be the one that would narrate the show every episode or most of the episodes of the show. She would narrate what was happening. But that episode started with her story. It started with how she was recruited by the professor and how she lost her first boyfriend in a robbery and how she fell in love with her second boyfriend who is a member of the team. I can't really remember his name right now and you know she was talking about how the whole robbery and heist can change you how you lose people how you wonder if it was worth it and whatnot and at that point I literally had no idea that the producers wanted to prepare us for what would be her death now was the death deserving the way she died was it a deserving death she was a very big character there. She was the action woman, the action lady. She was down for anything. And the professor was her guardian angel. And she, she you could just trust her to, to do what? It's unbelievable, right? And obviously for her to die in the show, she needed to die with a banger. She needed to go out with a banger. And I think that's what the producers wanted. She exploded herself. Right, I think she had the, some bombs around her and she died by exploding herself with the bombs. You can see the, the series of events that led to her death, right? She went out with a banger basically. First of all, do you see how she threw the, the grenade back at the other people, the opposite team, the army people? And that was really, really, really massive. The way she picked it all up before it went off and threw it down there. The main thing that led to her death was being shot at the pantry, right? The army people that were outside, they started shooting, right? And she was not quick to leave the scene. And she got shot everywhere on her legs and her arms. And obviously she was wearing a bulletproof, so it did not affect this part of her body. And even with the fact that her hands were destroyed with bullets, she was able to stay back and hold up the army people so that her team could escape through the vent. Like, I think that's what it's called. When the professor asked her, how long do you think you can hold the ground? She's like, as long as you need. So I feel she knew that she had a major role to play at that scene right and she also knew that when she could not escape with them that that means she had to sacrifice herself for the team she took her arms with the bullet and she was really shooting for a long time when they shot her on her arms and her legs i was like no tokyo can't just go like that that's like so basic tokyo can't just die like that they had to make it more more crazy she needs to go out with a banger she can't just die like that so i knew that or i had hope that she was going to survive the attack yeah but when it kept getting to the point where it was impossible for her to jump because obviously if she ran for it they would have shot her and killed her there's no way she was going to escape and jump so yeah, she was gonna die. And I'd rather she dies going out with a banger like that than just have a basic death because Tokyo was the main character. I also love the fact that she got to say goodbye to her boyfriend whom she broke off with. And I think they're gonna start dating again. You know, he drilled the ground 
and he was able to touch her hands. I, I really love that they had that time to say goodbye. Yeah, and everyone was literally heartbroken from her death. And Gardia, I think that's how his name is pronounced, the security to the government to the governor of the bank that one is a nutcase like i'm so glad that she went down with him she took him down with her i'm so glad that we don't have to see his face in the next episodes yeah of the show and she was really really patient yeah in taking away that guy that guy was getting on her nerves he got on everyone's nerves didn't he <laughs> so yeah i love the fact that she blew up everyone especially Gadia. <laughs> what do you guys think about the way she died do you think it was deserving do you miss her on the show already i don't think i would really miss her because the show is coming to an end okay but i think it's gonna be like a few more episodes like two before the show ends and i'm okay i'm satisfied that she died now compared to dying earlier on in the show which would be impossible because the show is about Tokyo as well, just like the way the professor is really important in the show. I think Tokyo was important as well. I would really love to read your comments on this video and your comments on the show. What do you think about Tokyo and how she died? Do you think it was a deserving death, right? Do you think that if you were the producer, you would have done something better? For me, I'm okay with it, right? I'm okay with it, honestly. <laughs> And I really did enjoy that show. The part five was really, really, really good.